Okay, this is part three. In parts one and two, we set up this network and we configured this switch for uh, SSH. Here are the commands we use to configure switch one. And now what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to attempt to uh, SSH connect from this switch to this switch. In the last video, we were able to connect from this PC into the switch on VLAN 99, which we set up as a management VLAN so we could have remote access to the switch through SSH um, instead of Telnet, because SSH is encrypted. So we set up SSH version 2. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try to expand on that. Now one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the switch and show a different way of um, connecting to the switch instead of using just the regular ad admin um, password that you use we're going to try to set up a username password to so set up an actual Cisco user so I'll hit enter and I'll type enable and I'll put in the password Cisco and then I'm going to go to global config mode right now I'm in global config mode and I'm going to type in username let's say Dan and then I'll type secret for uh, secret password right encrypted and I will uh, let's say type in um, let me in okay and we'll hit enter and so now we have a user named Dan with a um, encrypted password called let me in and this username and password is put into the Cisco switches local database so it's able to maintain a database of users and passwords right on the Cisco switch and you could also do this for a Cisco router right so the next thing I need to do is I need to go to um, line VTY uh, virtual terminal access right 0 to 15 right and when we set it up before we set in just login right but if we want to set it up so that when we log in through the terminal remote in with SSH and we want to use the local username and database what we can do is put in this command login local right so now um, that should work and let's just test that out really quickly so I'll go to this PC and I'll open up a command prompt and what I'll do is I'll say I've got SSH dash L for um, login then I put in the username Dan right and then the IP address 2.168.99.2 right and then my password let me in hit enter and I'm in so that worked so that's a more advanced way of connecting to your switch or your router or your Cisco network device by using a, a username password scenario as opposed to just the default um, one password for all type of management right okay so now we're gonna set up this switch to connect to this switch with SSH and the reason we can do that is on these switches these 3560 switches in packet tracer they have SSH server installed uh, version 1 and version 2 and they also have SSH client so if you didn't have a client you could use this other switch as a client to connect to the server okay so let's wire it up I'm going to get my cables here. I'm going to need a crossover cable since it's switch to switch. And for this switch I'm going to use 023 and I'll just use the same port over here just to match. So we've got fast Ethernet port 23 to port 23 with a crossover cable. Alright, I'm going to go into the top switch and I'm going to need to turn that port or make that port VLAN 99 accessible. Right so I'll hit end and then I'll say conf t and I'll say interface fa 0 slash 23 to go into the port 23 and then I'll do switch port uh, mode access and then switch port access VLAN 99 all right, and now that port will um, be able to communicate on VLAN 99, right? 
okay now that we're done with that we have to set up the other switch port and we have to configure a few other things in the other switch so for the other switch once again I'm just cheating by clicking on the switch and going to the command line interface here as opposed to clicking on the PC and, and doing a console terminal connection into the switch and one of the reasons I like to do that is I can make the text here bigger uh, in this command line interface so that it's easier to see in the video alright so what I'll do is I'll type enable and then conf t and I'll change the host name of this switch host name to switch 2 so that we know the difference now between switch 2 and switch 1 that's switch 1 and now this one the bottom one is switch 2 alright and I'm gonna say VLAN 99 to create VLAN 99 I'll give it a name the same name as we used before MGT for management so now we have a uh, management VLAN I'm gonna go into interface wait I gotta get out of there control C conf T back to global config mode interface VLAN 99 and now I'm in my virtual interface for VLAN 99 right and I can give it an IP address so I'll say IP address 192.168.99.3 also the subnet mask alright and now I'll do a note okay new, no shutdown no shut alright and now I've set up this IP address for the switch right by default the switches do not have come with the IP address you have to um, configure it for them and we configured that on the virtual interface for VLAN 99 okay so now I should be able to um, ping this switch let's give it a try alright um, I don't think though I set up the interface yet for um, let's just double check show run port 23 has not been set to VLAN 99 yet so that's not going to work um, but I've got my virtual interface VLAN 99 with the IP address so if you hover over the switch you can tell which ports have been um, configured for which VLAN okay so we gotta do that so we'll back into it and stretch this out one more time I'm gonna hit spacebar more conf t to get to global config mode interface fa0 slash 23 and sw tab switch port mode access so now it's an access port as opposed to a trunk port and then sw tab switch port access VLAN 99 okay so now um, you can see it said that uh, change state to up so that should be good we should be able to ping the um, switch now we'll try all right it's trying to ping and it might take a second for um, for the two switches to learn each other's uh, MAC addresses for this to work so alright and all of a sudden there it is started working so we can communicate with the switch so now that we can communicate to the switch we can try to SSH from this switch which we're in right now uh, switch to into the first switch so I'll type in SSH space and a question mark and you can see that I need to put the version and the login with the username so what I'll do is I'll say SSH dash V space 2 for version 2 then space dash L for login for username I'll say Dan right then I'll put um, a question mark it says I need the IP address right or the host name of the remote system right so I'll put in uh, 192.168.99.2 .2, right hit enter and open password right and type in let me in and we're in 